what's up guys lightning eagle 14 here soaring back into everyday life with another video and this video we're going to be building some absolvers for a drain blaster that i built a long time ago and also fitting the drain blaster up to take the absolvers but perhaps this will end up being end up having to be split into two videos we shall see anyways so uh let's get right on into it so first step is going to be um, taking the cylinders from this broken Maverick and this working Maverick and taking out the hours and removing the these little parts that um, connect it to the actual gun. So yeah, let's do that. Time for some disassembly. One down. Whew. All right, we got two out. One and two. And uh, so, now the easiest way to take these apart is just to pry off, um, where did my flathead screwdriver go? Here we go. Pry off these front caps here with a flathead screwdriver. What is our problem? This one just seems to be giving me all kinds of problems. Yeah, now that we have our caps pried off, you still you can see we still have these bottom things on. So to get those off, we have to unscrew these cylinders by taking out the three screws located around the edge. And for that, we need our trusty screwdriver again. And now you <coughs> and now you can see oh, that our cap just pries off and it flings bits everywhere, which is unfortunate. But we have these things, which are the barrel posts. Also have these tiny springs, along with these things. These are the air restrictors. We can throw those away. These things, we need to cut off the barrel posts and um, uh, drill out this part here so that we can get a little bit better airflow. And to do that, we're going to need a drill. So um, I'll be back once I have all that done. All right, so you can see I have um, dremeled out the air restrictor pieces. And the dark posts, I ended up using a Dremel instead of a drill because uh, the drilling just didn't want to work. But, anyways, so now all that's left to do is to reassemble um, the, air, the dark post pieces with the um, barrels and screw them back up. And I also need to unscrew and remove this piece. All right, so we have three of these uh, Maverick cylinders finally done. We have all the air restrictors and uh, other nonsense taken out. A straight shot through all the barrels with good airflow. The next step is going to be to glue these three fourths to, what is it, one and a half maybe? Three-fourths to maybe one and a half inch uh, caps on there with some Gorilla Glue. So we're going to do that next. Alright, so we've got our Gorilla Glue. We've got our little PVC bushings. <clears throat> and we've got our cylinders, which are fully, uh, fully upgraded. Well, not upgraded, uh, modified. So all we need to do <clears throat> is apply, is apply a thin layer of Gorilla Glue all around the edge here and then put our cylinders on and um, I was hoping to be able to get a little bit less
All right, that's one. Then we just press our press and carefully position our Maverick cylinder so that it lines up. Ah, shoot, I got some on my finger. That's not good. Stuff is bad for your fingers. I'm going to wash that off right now. We're back. And now we're going to just do that again two more times because that's how many cylinders we have here. Pretty simple stuff for the most. Oh, some on our finger again. Maybe we don't do that again. Oh no, there's some on the table. Crap. Well, we're just going to have to let that dry then. Oh, on to the next one. This time we're not going to put as much. All right, and press it on. Position it a little. Make sure it's centered. And should be good. On to the next one. And then when I'm done with this, to be to weight it down, I'm going to um, be using some books, some thick books. All right, and then we attach the final one, or press on the final one. Position it a little, make sure it's centered. And, uh, oops. Uh-oh, that, shoot. Hopefully that didn't mess up anything. It slipped a little. Hopefully we're still okay. And looks good. Alright, and now we just want to put our books one, two, three. Because why not? And that's that. Uh, in the next video, uh, we're gonna work on making the, we're gonna work on attaching the front little nub onto the end of the drain blaster, little three-fourths inch piece of PVC that works, that, um, will fit over that. That's what we're gonna do in the next video. Uh, should be super simple. And, uh, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Now, see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.